The following is a presentation of TFNN. The Bull Bear Binary Option Hour. Brought to you by Nadex. Call now. Toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-445-1044. Now, Tom and Tommy O'Brien. Welcome, folks. We appreciate you growling and prowling with us out here. Right now, we have the Dow Industrials down 17. You get the NASDAQ off 19. S&Ps are off 3.5. Uh, gold's trading up 360 at 1250 flat. You have the uh, silver contract up uh, uh, two cents, sixteen dollars sixty cents. Platinum is up two dollars sixty cents, nine twenty an ounce. Uh, light sweet crude up thirty eight cents, forty three dollars seventy cents a barrel. Notes ten year note down fourteen six, one twenty six ten. Thirty year bond off almost a full point, one fifty six. Uh, King dollar, that's getting toasted and roasted down uh, 586, 96.530. You have the euro uh, up uh, 112, almost 113. That was all about draggy out here this morning. It looks like uh, Europe uh, is actually going to get tighter than us. That's what, uh, well, that's what the market's saying right that's now. That's right. Um, you got the uh, yen trading at 112.05. The... Uh, Fourth of July next week. We're getting there sooner, sooner than we're going to realize. Every every day, Monday's a half a day. Monday is a half a day. Friday, no one's going to be around. That's right. Unbelievable. It is. Let's go over to our man, Mr. Kevin Hinks at TD Ameritrade Think or Swim, and don't forget, folks, every trading day right here at TFNN, twelve to one Eastern Standard Time. If you want to understand options upside down, Kevin Hinks, Scott Connor, they got a great program, Swim Lessons. If you haven't test drove the Thinkorswim platform, TD Ameritrade platform, come over to our website at TFNN. You'll see the banner on the top of the side. You can hit the banner. They'll you bring up the platform. They'll let you trade with paper money. You can follow along with Kevin and Scott um, as they trade these uh, defined uh, options. Uh, and, uh, you know, some are trading, as Kevin's been explaining, uh, going back three months, you know, because I, I remember that as they were rolling things out, he was talking about, you better not roll them out to the summer. You better get out there to October. Sure. Yeah. Kevin Hanks, what's going on? Good morning, Tom. Good morning, Tommy. Morning, How are we Kevin. doing? Doing Ooh, good. Doing Mario good. Draghi, good morning. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> it, you know, for him to say that, that is a 180-degree turn, it yes. appears, from them. And you're, it's showing up in our dollar. You know, think about it. That throws something that throws a big reversal into our bonds which you see our 10-year yield is spiking yeah. right and then our banks so everyone's happy on on the anyone who stores money for a living likes that so you know you're exactly right are they going to start tightening over in europe he basically said deflation is dead right over there yeah i it's it was a fast move man i mean yeah. and you know what's been intriguing kevin is that it seems like when I look at Europe, just kind of in general, but I mean, I haven't been there in a long time. It seems like it's a mess to me. But, you know, the last, last five or six months, man, the dollar kept getting destroyed. The euro keeps going up. So I'm saying to myself, well, there's something going on over there. Yeah. They're making right. money. I mean, you know what I mean? It's like the, the place might be a mess, perceptionally, in my own my, head. But they're making my, money, evidently, you know? My two daughters are there right now. Are they? Okay. I know that because they're, they're calling me for more money. So. <laughs> Supporting and the believe economy. me, the, the pictures they're sending back look very nice. I so, totally, totally. Yeah. But, yeah, I mean, Mario Draghi, this is big news. And now now all the attention will turn to Janet Yellen at 1 o'clock yes. uh, Chicago time and see what she does there. So, yeah, I mean, it's going to be, you know, there's a lot of Fed speakers today. Yes. And, the rest, you know, so they're out there and they're busy. And, you know, it, ha it hasn't moved the Fed fund futures yet. I mean, we're still, you know, December meeting is still at 45%. It's not until March that you get a 58%. Well, talk is good, Tom, but talk's not the real numbers. Yeah. And, and the, you know, and those guys trading Fed funds, they trade off the real numbers. That's where real money gets back. That, bet. That's not rhetoric. And they're yes. just not willing to go there yet. Right, right. You can right? Get, yeah. No, I, and listen, it makes sense when, when you look at the world rates. I mean, okay, so yesterday, 
um, you know, Italy had to bail out their banks, and still the 10-year in Italy is, uh, let's see, where are we? So the 10-year in Italy is 2%, 2, 2 and we're still at 2.1. It's like, okay, you know. That, yeah. That, but, that, but that, I thought it was interesting yesterday, Tom, that our 10-year yield was down yesterday. Yes. But the banks all rallied. Yeah. And we started our show yesterday with why. Why is that happening? Well, look at it. It was because that Italian bank bailout kind of took some of the some of the uh, the pressure off those banks, which made our banks rally. Their foreign markets rallied, which made our overnight futures rallied. So we opened up higher yesterday, even though we had that horrible durable goods number. Yes. And because of the foreign markets and what they did over there. Uh, our market still opened up. Now, it didn't hold, and it kind of drifted back down, but, you know, our futures were up 12 and a half at one time yesterday. Oh, I know. And then Believe they kind of eased them back down here as everything kind of settled. But, yeah, I, you know, it was an interesting trade, but it all started with, that's why we tell our customers, you know, watch the foreign markets as they lead into our overnight futures, which lead into our markets. Yes. Right? And that's what that's what caused the market to go up yesterday. Definitely. Yeah. And, it, you know, it's so cool, folks, as Kevin just said, getting used to that because you just want a routine. And you can, you know, you want every type of edge you can get. And that edge is sitting right in front of all of us. You know what I mean? So right. pay attention to it. Folks, right here, 12 to 1 Eastern Standard Time. Now, remember, no matter where you're listening right now, you can get Kevin right on your cell phone, all of us right on your cell phone. You go to TFNN.com. On the browser, hit Tiger TV. You're going to get some great HD quality video as well as audio. Kevin, have a great one and a safe one. Of course, we look forward to the show at noon. We're not on vacation yet, guys. We're here all week. Not That's yet. That's right. That's right. <laughs> That's right. Take care, man. Have a great one. Tommy and I come right Larry back, Larry Pesavento has just started his brand new service, Fibonacci 24-7, and he's already delivering content to his subscribers on a daily basis when the market's opened and even on weekends. Each Monday, you'll receive Larry's written report that provides detailed commentary and a summary on the charts and videos that Larry sends out. And throughout the week, when warranted, Larry will send out via charts or videos or both the key markets that he is watching during the day. This will be up-to-the-date active trading in information that will help you in your daily trading. In Larry's first week alone, he sent out 25 charts, six videos, and a full report to his subscribers in just one week. If you're a technical trader that uses patterns and retracements to trade, then Larry's service Fibonacci 24-7 is something that you must try. Right now, new subscribers can get a full 30-day money-back guarantee. With nothing to risk, sign up now to Larry Pesavento's Fibonacci 24-7 by visiting the front page of TFNN.com under Trading newsletters. Platinum, grains, crude oil, gold, copper, cattle, hogs, gasoline, natural gas, coffee, cotton, cocoa, and sugar. These are just some of the commodities mentioned in the most recent issue of Andy Hecht's Techno Mental Commodity Report. Andy publishes his weekly newsletter every Thursday morning, where he breaks down the commodity market and provides his subscribers with specific trading recommendations based on his trading methodology. By signing up for a free trial to the Technomental Commodity Report, you'll get a full 30 days to try out this powerful newsletter service and see for yourself the types of trades Andy has recommended for his subscribers. When you sign up for a 30-day free trial, you're under no obligation to pay anything. And should you decide to continue, you will lock in the low rate of only $79 a month. Sign up right now for the Technomental Commodity Report and make sure you're ready to catch the next big trade in commodities. For more information and to get started today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. You know what's cool? Taking something that's good for you. Something specifically formulated to help with weight loss, better sleep, stress reduction, and the need to detox. Nico, our hunter and gatherer ancestors found all their nutritional requirements for health in their wild environment. But today, our food sources no longer contain the vitamins, minerals, and nutrients our bodies need to stay healthy and strong. That's why we need Primal Edge Daily Nutrition. It includes a special blend of ionic, soil-based vitamins, minerals, fatty, and amino acids in an easy-to-use liquid form. Primal Edge is powered by highly concentrated fulvic and humic acids, nature's preferred delivery system. They have been called miracle molecules because, like sunlight, air, and water, life cannot exist without them. That's right, Paige. They ensure we receive all the nutrition we need to be healthy and thrive. We, we take, take it, it every, every morning. morning. Primal Edge, formulated and approved by Nico and Paige of Living a Primal Lifestyle. Buy it today for just $89. Click on the Primal Edge banner on the front page of TFNN.com.
We take your phone calls now. now. Toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-445-1044. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow Industrials right now down seven. You get the Nasdaq off 26. S&Bs are off three and a half. And folks, if you haven't test drove the Nadex platform, come over to our website at TFNN. You can hit that banner, bring it up. You can walk along with us as we uh, trade these defined option contracts. Let's go inside the market now for a bit. Uh, first, we'll go inside the uh, NYSE. Um, the Dow, so the move is inside the Dow today, uh, putting points into it is that you have Home Depot putting seven positive points, Walmart four, Goldman four. Uh, taken away from it, you have uh, 3M putting eight negative, Verizon five, Microsoft three, nothing much really, it's kind yeah, of even. It's relatively, I mean, we're yeah. looking at a Dow down in single digits down, you know? Right, yeah. right. Inside the uh, NDX 100, uh, strength versus a weakness, uh, Dollar Tree is, uh, up 1.7 percent, tractor supply 1 percent, uh, taken away from it, uh, Seagate Technology uh, down uh, 5 percent. Uh, look at this, see, the, these, the, um, the disc makers, these are disc drive, I believe, design manufacturers, yeah, high disc drives. These things move around like crazy, man. I mean, I just look at this chart. Yeah. So in, in six months, folks, uh, you know, January 24th, you're at 36 bucks. April 25th, you're at 50. Now I'm back to 40. <laughs> and it's quite a it, haircut. Is it, uh, here, let me just, I, th I think it's Western Digital, too, like the move like that. Western Digital, let's see what this, the, I've just noticed this. Oh, let's see, that's a lot better looking yeah, chart. It's just a that's straight not, line up, right? Yeah, it's a straight Ooh. line up, period. period. Uh, gold, let's go over to the gold contract. So gold out here this morning, folks. Um, Trying to catch a bid. Uh, what I do like out here right now is this. So you had the first acceleration up uh, at two o'clock this morning. Yes. Uh, what we also had though at 9:30, that little pop up to that 12:52.20. Uh, yeah. I like. I like that. Yeah. You know. So we'll see. It looks to me like it's trying to get up into. Where this downdraft started uh, two in the clock in the morning yesterday, which is twelve fifty four sixty. We'll see if we get it. If we go to the GDX, and you take a look at the GDX, um, GDX right now, you get a flat market, four point five million shares. Yeah, we want we want some volume pushing it into this uh, twenty two eighty one right now. It's kind of just laying flat. You had to pop on the open. Yeah. Now, what you have here, folks, inside of this is that this is where this should move higher. You know, we popped on the open. We came right back to where it got trashed yesterday morning. If we go into the nugget and take a look at the nugget. Because gold is much higher than where we were yesterday morning. Yes, it is. It absolutely is. Uh, the nugget right now is uh, down seven cents, thirty-two sixty-eight, and that also, I believe, is coming right back to where we started. Yeah, it is. Okay, so here's the, you know, if you're if you're trading this thing, this is the trade right here. Put a stop underneath uh, thirty-two fifty-five. Sure. Thirty-two forty or something. This is it, and you're gunning for thirty-three seventy-four. It'll be pretty wild, man. <laughs> um, uh, the dollar. Oh, here. Let's go to bonds first. So this is, this yeah. is this is a move, no doubt. Okay. So we let's see, 144,000 contracts. What you're going to have here, and this is you're going into a monster day. See, 495,000 contracts. June 14th. Yeah, and that's going to be hard to break down. Sure. You know, so it's something you want to keep an eye on, though, because. Yeah. This came off the highs with volume. As soon as Draghi was speaking, you'll, yep. you'll see this. That downdraft's a good one. That is. You know? Quite a cascade. It is. It is. Now, the, if we go look at the 10, you're going to see the same setup inside the 10. Now, the 10 actually has a heavier cascade. Well, it looks it anyway. You know what I mean? 
You can, can you go shorter time frame? Uh, the yes. IGPO. Yeah. It looks yeah. the same. Yeah. You know what I mean? Uh, uh, intraday, it looks the same. What I, what I mean by um, it looks heavy is that we didn't get as high in the in the okay. 10 as we did the 30, sure. you know? Yeah. Uh, that being said, though, guess what? You know, <laughs> this is where this is uh, you going into 2.4 million contracts. That's 126.10, right where we are. Yep. As well, though, and this is where it always gets okay. interesting. June 2nd. Yeah. And when you have two or three floors that are set up like that. It's like, oh, okay, good, you know, <laughs> you gotta, you, we're not even close to a breakdown. That's, you know, it's a fast move. There's no doubt about that, but um, as to a breakdown, no, it's not there. In fact, if we look at the, the 10 year, you're still at 2.19, you know. Not bad, I know. No, 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 not, not even close. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. And uh, the dollar, this is, if the dollar closes right where we are right now, it's going to be really dangerous for the dollar. Because what we did is that the big turnaround in the dollar was on the uh, 14th, which was the Fed yes. day. Now it makes sense. That's where all that volume is in the bonds, too. Exactly. Yep. And we have volume coming down. You know, we're going into 21,000 contracts. We've already done 20,000 contracts on the dollar. Uh, dollar indexes. So if you if you close there, say it's going to go after that number, um, and you go after that number, but that would make sense in the context of how this is lined up. The dollar can't go down going into July fourth, though. Uh, yeah. <laughs> well, watch this. You know the number that we're looking for, that I'm looking for, you know, is election night, ninety five point nine oh five. That okay, was the, the low, low of that. Perfect, okay. Sure. And I suspect, you know, we're coming we're right into it. We're right next to it, man. We're right yeah. next to it. And, in fact, you can get down to 91. Sure. Now, watch this. We've been talking about this before. And this is the peso, folks. You can get a lot out of this as to all these trades that were done at the election are totally, they were totally unwound. So the peso, which Mexico, you know, was supposed to get toasted and roasted, well, guess what? The the peso now is stronger than it was on election night. Pretty remarkable. It, that, you know what? Forget the rhetoric. Where's the money? Well, guess what? The peso's stronger than the dollar right now. There you go. <laughs> That's there pretty. You go. And so, where, where my head's going with that, it's. And you just start doing those correlations to the dollar. So sure. your probability goes pretty good that that's where you're going to go. Right. Now, if we go to the those euro. Those currencies are strengthening. Yeah. That and, basket is, right. Right. And you go to the euro, the euro wants 116. So if we break, the, the, the top of this range is 112.85. We've hit, well, we, look at that. We hit 113 yeah, I mean, this morning. Yeah, you can see it peaked above it this morning. Okay, that, yeah. That tail okay. of today's bar. Right. Now, watch this. It's kind of like sticking out here. <laughs> I mean, we're already up this far. We're only, I'm only saying that, okay, here's, no, I gotta bring it back further because it's 116 I'm looking at. It. There it is up there, okay. So the top of that range is the one, that's 114, no, that's 116, there it is. That's where it looks like it's going. Sure. And if we go up there, guess what? That means that the dollar wants to go to 91. Yeah. So yeah. these correlations uh, are gonna be pretty wild as to, Who's going to go up on the rates first, and or who's going to pull back the stimulus first? Yeah. And Yellen, so I guess Yellen is talking at 1 o'clock our time in Europe, yeah, right? Yeah, it looks like it's East Coast, right? And, yeah. Um, she's speaking, we'll pull it up, but 1 o'clock Eastern. Stay right there, folks. Tommy and I are coming right back. Dow Industrials right now. We're going. Maybe. Okay. Today, it's hard to tell if the economy is coming or going. Regardless, I want my money going in the direction I choose. If that's your stance as well, then you want to know how EverBank can help keep your money thriving just the way you want. Is growing your money a priority? EverBank is committed to a yield pledge promise to pay high yields on your checking, money market, and CD balances. Looking to diversify? EverBank ingeniously developed accessible ways to spread your money around the world into foreign currencies and even non-FDIC insured metals. And when it comes to your wealth, they bring a highly experienced and global perspective to help you manage it. EverBank's financial philosophy flies in the face of the status quo. They believe your money's performance should not be determined by today's economic circumstances, but by the drive to rise above them and create opportunities that favor your objectives. If that excites you like it does me, visit everbank.com slash TFNN to find out what they can do for you. Again, that's everbank.com slash TFNN. Visit them today.
Everbank is a member FDIC and equal housing lender. If you're an active trader looking for that extra edge when it comes to trading and investments, then now is a great time to get a two-week free trial to Tom O'Brien's daily market letter, Market Insights. Tom O'Brien's daily newsletter, Market Insights, comes out every market day at around 9.30 a.m. and provides Tom's daily commentary on the broad market, including the Dow, NASDAQ, and S&P, plus specific trade recommendations. There's even an update published most afternoons to keep you informed about the day's market activity. He'll give you the entry price, price target, and stop price of each stock and option trade. With Market Insights, there's nothing left to guessing. For all the details and to get your two-week free trial to Market Insights started today, visit TFNN.com. Many of our new listeners have heard about the Tiger's Den, but wondered, what exactly is it? The Tiger's Den is a lively community where professional traders and investors can meet, exchange ideas and information, in a comfortable, moderated atmosphere. Hear all of your favorite TFNN shows, plus see all the charts as they happen, live, during those shows, and have access to all those charts. You can test drive the Tiger's Den, absolutely free, for 30 days. It will greatly enrich your knowledge of these markets. Details on the Tiger's Den are on the front page of TFNN.com. Tiger TV is an exciting way to experience TFNN programming, see high-definition video, giving you crystal clear charts, as well as seeing some of the faces of TFNN's highly acclaimed financial experts with crisp, full-fidelity sound. Catch Tom O'Brien, John Logan, Steve Rhodes, Basil Chapman, Larry Pesavento, Think or Swim, David White, Andy Hecht, and Daryl Martin in crystal clear, high-definition audio and video. Tiger TV, exclusively at TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow right now is down 10. You get the NASDAQ off 29. S&Ps are uh, off 4. Let's go over to that uh, Nadex platform uh, and see what we have happening out here. <laughs> well, what do, you think what do we got cooking? What do you think we have happening? A gold action to the upside? Yeah, well, we'll see where it goes. Right yeah. now, uh, what I did out here this morning, so you have, so inside the Nadex platform, folks, of course, you can, you can trade the indices, you can trade commodities, you can trade currencies. Um, and, you know, it depends how things have moved overnight to uh, kind of where, where I go. More sure, than, more than of anything. course, as it should, yeah. Right. Um, so this morning, uh, I went into the gold contract. Yeah, it looks like about 8.30, 8.28. Yeah. And to pull that down on the chart, yeah, somewhere towards the I bottom waited. of this right. red bar right here, yeah, that's the 8.25 bar, so three minutes into that bar about... So probably somewhere just under 12.50, right at about 12.50? Uh, it was under. It was under a little, under. and I paid over that, though. I sure, mean, yes, yeah. right. as you'd have to, right. because right. the box begins at 12.50. Right, 12 right. Um, yeah, it looks like you got in at 12.51.65, so right. you're paying $16.50 per contract. Yeah, plus uh, probably another dollar. There's probably a, a point underneath that. Right. No, right, average price, one twelve fifty one sixty five. Right, no, I, I understand that, but the, it the was, market? Yeah, the gold was trading at like twelve forty nine. Sure, right, yeah, right, yes, right, perfect, yep. Right. Yeah, so and those are the dailies, yeah, you get right. to one thirty. okay. And so what, what I'm looking for, uh, I'm looking for two different things. And, and what's important to understand here, folks, is that we were talking about this yesterday, too. The danger when you're buying at twelve fifty is you lose it all. That's the danger. The, uh, the upside of that, however, is pretty cool because, like, I was paying $16 a contract. Now, where can you buy $16 a contract sure. if in the, inside the gold market? And in this case, because I do have 10 again, and I, I don't buy 10 a lot. I only buy 10 when I think the probability is much higher, you know? Sure. Um, because that's a full contract. Sure. You know, yes. ten is a full contract, and if, so that cost me like one hundred sixty-five dollars. Right. Okay. Right. Now, if you just so I can show you the difference here, if if we went into the market, right, GCs, and you bought a full contract, you know, inside the futures, well, it cost you forty-three hundred and forty-five dollars. Definitely. And you're getting the same move. Definitely. You know, the the difference would be, of course, is that, you know, 
you don't have a trade that's only on to 1.30 in the afternoon. Of course. You know what I mean? Of course. And, and you're paying a little bit of premium for that risk reward that's right. ratio. That's right. That's but right. to put things in perspective, you're talking about $165 versus $4,300. I... And you can see the value of one point is $100. Right. And that's why, so when you pull up, you know, back to Nadex, you have 10 contracts. Right. Every dollar is going to be $100. I because know. Because per contract, right, that would yeah. be $10 per point right. or a dollar per tick right. every 10. But exactly. Yeah, pretty you cool, know. man. Pretty cool. And, you know, the, and the and key. You've been getting some volatility oh, with gold. Oh, listen. Uh, I, you know what? Just to pull it back a it, little bit. Right. Um, it's come into the strength from yesterday. From uh, no, from last night. Yes. Yeah. Last night. Uh, rejected it. And as I said, you know, the 12... 5320, I believe. We have volume up there. Um, yeah, and even if we just got back up to there. Oh, that's fine. You double your money. Right. right. Oh, yeah. I know. Yeah. It's, it's, and then, you know, like yesterday, I took half of it off, and I'm glad I did, even though the Where other half. Where did that end up closing it, out? It was good. It was, it was a 12. 5620. So 4620. You're the 46. 46. Yeah. 46. Right. That's still $6.20. So $62 it, it per was. contract. Yeah. And on the first one, I got out at like 4510 or 4520. Right. right. Perfect. You know? So it's great. I mean, it, it works out. Definitely. So what you want to do, folks, is that when you, if you if you're getting your head wrapped around these, do the um, the test drive in this first, so you can actually see how the tops and bottoms of these spreads line up. Um, and it's, it's that premium, right? It, it is. Where, definitely. It, and it's crucial to understand when they expire, too. Definitely. Because definitely. now, what, what's going on here, it's kind of interesting because I'm going to have a shot when Janet Yellen starts talking at 1, because they close at 1.30. <laughs> you yeah. know? Hopefully she's on time and has a lot, I, to, that, a lot to say real quickly. This, okay. No, right, but so, you, that, so that's check a this factor. Out. That it, is a factor. Oh, for sure. this is a huge factor. So listen to this, folks. The last two times that Trump talked, right? Yelling or Trump? No, Trump. I'm okay. just because okay. on time because okay. I've traded these things sure. when the sure. events. The last two times, not on time. Hour later, markets closed. <laughs> you know what I mean? I sure. wasn't trading gold then. I was just I trading you. the market. Sure. But the bottom line, it is crucial to understand when that event is coming up. Because you, you, I'm just looking for volatility. Of course. You know, so. Of course. 877-927-6648. Uh, let's go look at Google. So uh, Google. One more time. Uh, yeah, they're going to have to pay. Well, who knows if they're going to have to yeah. pay. They have a judgment from the EU. Right. $2.4 I yeah. believe pocket change, right? Antitrust, uh, well, it's especially pocket change if they're probably guilty, which they probably are, of what yeah. they're alleging in terms of using their searching to steer people towards their products. Right. <laughs> it's a no-brainer. Right. As I in, know. You know. Exactly. I'm yeah. sure they've made plenty of money doing that. Oh, my God. A lot more than that. So just so, just so you can understand, like Google takes in, let's see what they're taking in right now. Oh, boy. And seriously, right? Yeah. 20... One, 20 billion every 90 days. Yeah. So there you go. 100 and oh, 87 That's two billion, billion every issue. nine days. Yeah. Right. Nine days of revenue. Let's go over to Amazon. I, I guess what the what the kicker is though, once the EU's onto you, like they were dealing with Microsoft for like 15, 20 years. Sure. So it's like okay, you're a target. Sure. You're screwed. You know. You're, you, you're gonna you're gonna be doing this for hey, a while. It's good for consumers to not oh, have it is. one company steering you down oh, all. You know, otherwise we'll all be stuck on Internet Explorer. Um, yeah. You know. Oh yeah. No, yeah. there's no there's no doubt. Uh, Amazon's flat out here this morning. We get uh, Facebook. That's down a buck thirty. No big deal there. Um, what's the other Fang stock? What are, what am I missing here? Netflix. And, where are you jumping around? Okay, NFLX. Yeah, that, that's like that's like a little. I didn't see where you started off. Netflix with. is down 262 at 154.88. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, you talk about. Uh, did you tell me to watch the accountant? No, uh, but I've seen it. It's good. Oh my God, folks! It's Maybe on I HBO did, for free so. right now. It's yeah. great. It's like just a just a different yeah. type of film. Ben Affleck, he does a good yeah, job. Yeah, he does yeah. a great it's job. Good. So it's called The Accountant. It's free. Yeah. Well, on HBO anyway. I know. I'm like, what do you mean it's free? Yeah, it's on right. HBO. <laughs> yeah, exactly. If we go over to the uh, European markets, folks, what you have out here this morning is that uh, the DAX is down uh, five tenths of a percent. Uh, the CAT's down five tenths. FTSE is down uh, seven. No, it's only down one tenth. Uh, the DAX is going to get intriguing because the, the DAX, I won't get the volume till later, but the DAX likes to trade uh, as the NASDAQ or the NASDAQ like the DAX, either or off. Uh, and that couldn't hold price yesterday, so we won't get the volume till later tonight. But that's going after the lower end of its consolidation. Yeah. So 
as we said a little bit earlier, though, uh, bottom line is that the market only has to make it right now till Wednesday, I say, as a sideways market. If we get a sideways market like this to Wednesday, it's trail off into the weekend. Trail off into the weekend, yeah. I just, yeah, I just can't picture, you know. Let's go to Marie in Erie, Pennsylvania. Hey, Marie, how you doing? Oh, I'm doing fine. Okay. Hey, Morning, Marie. Hi, Tommy. Where, so where were you broadcasting from the last couple of days? I was broadcasting from St. Pete. The world needs to know. <laughs> no, it's going to be. I'm going to have that studio set up. It's just not set up the yet. The world needs to know. <laughs> Yeah, stay right there. It wasn't there. a dungeon, Marie. It wasn't. It, it, it wasn't. Was, it was a nice little I, studio. I was down there working on your houses, Marie. That's what I was I doing. I thought so. I thought so. Because <laughs> I said it looked great. Uh, yeah, stay, stay right there, folks. We're coming right back. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. We're going to be right back. Has the current market volatility continued to stop you out of trades when the market spikes against you? Now is the perfect time to open up an account with Nadex. Nadex, the North American Derivatives Exchange, is a brand new, completely regulated Chicago-based exchange, and unlike most other exchanges, Nadex allows you to trade directly through them with direct market access when using their completely free trading platform, which also features real-time charts and full customization capability. One of the advantages of trading with Nadex in volatile markets is that your risk is always capped and you have the ability of keeping your trades open even when the market spikes against you. Nadex is completely completely brand new with a line of unique trading products that are unavailable anywhere else. See how it works at nadex.com. That's N-A-D-E-X.com. Or click on the Nadex banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Futures and options trading involves risk and may not be appropriate for all investors. Tom O'Brien's weekly gold letter, The Gold Report, gives complete and concise coverage of the entire gold market. Inside, you'll get Tom's commentary on gold, the dollar, the rand, the bond, the XAU, the HUI, and detailed coverage of nearly 25 mining stocks. He'll give you the entry price, price target, and stock price of each stock trade. The Gold Report is a long-term newsletter where the focus is on building real wealth through the management of a successful portfolio of gold stocks. With a lifetime of knowledge and almost 12 years of writing his informative weekly newsletter, The Gold Report, Tom O'Brien can provide you with the important market information to help you make better trades in the gold market. Don't let the next bull run in gold pass you by. To get a month-long free trial to The Gold Report, an $85 value, visit the front page of TFNN.com today. David White's newsletter, The Technology Insider, is focused like a laser on finding the next big things in technology. If you had invested only $10,000 in Microsoft in 1986, you'd have been a millionaire by 2000. Disruptive technology like Microsoft's is the key to these massive long-term profits, and The Tech Insider is the vehicle from TFNN to capitalize on these opportunities. This is the go-to newsletter that identifies, monitors, and profits on mostly little-known cutting-edge companies with great long-term prospects. David's experience is as an inventor of Emmy-winning animation products for TV and Hollywood that propelled a company public. Match that with 14 years as a full-time trader, and he's uniquely qualified to guide you through the light-speed world of ever-evolving high-tech. If you're ready to ride the next big technology bull market for less than $40 per month, log on to TFNN.com and get your two-week free trial to the Technology Insider. Get in on the ground floor of the next big thing today. This segment is brought to you by TFNN. Test drive all the newsletters for free at TFNN.com. Welcome back, folks. Uh, we just went from a negative to a positive. We get the Dow up 13, Nasdaq's uh, down 16, S&P's a flat. We're talking with Marie, and I believe we're going to talk about Microsoft, Marie? Sure. Um, it's, uh, I'm sorry, before we get to Microsoft, so that was one of the houses that you're working on? 
No, that wasn't. But that's that's where I was down there working, so it made it easier. I'm I'm building uh, another studio down there, oh, <laughs> so I that see. I can do it out of both places. Yes. Oh, because boy, that was the I like the beaded board. It looked pretty. Yes, yes, big time, definitely, big time. Uh, okay, yeah, on Microsoft, I assume we have to go down and retest that high volume um, low we made on uh, June 12th, right? Let's take a look at it. So you got Microsoft trading at seventy dollars and four cents. The low for the last year is forty-eight. The high is seventy-two. So we're right next to the highs. I do expect that. Yeah, you, you, you'll get that tested. Uh, the, the sixty-eight dollars and thirteen cents. Um, now, now you had been considering uh, a while ago when I asked about Microsoft that this was a pretty strong stock. Still feel that way? Yeah. Let me put. I believe it's an ABC up. Let me just put this. Okay, so here's the B point on a monthly. Yeah, it took out the B point. So your A point is 2630. Yeah, it's like $24. Which would be for, which oh, that's interesting. That's $64. So yeah. the ABC structure was $64 and it, right. and it hit 72. So that's saying that yeah, now the bottom line that that thing can pull all the way back to 55 again. Okay. Yeah. You know, because it did the price projection. Right. I thought it had kind of done a pretty swell job, and so... Yeah. Yeah. You're not going to go shot the stock, though. You're looking to go long, right? No, I I was looking to add more to my add, position. Okay, okay. So yeah. I just, I just... Yeah, I, I wouldn't add right now. No, no. I was looking at, you know, someplace down 68 way, but... I think uh, I think you can, it could be even lower. Yeah. See what what also happens is this is that now that's a long-term ABC that started in is that 2013? Yeah. That's January 2013. When you get a run that's like that, um you know, that that did that did everything it was supposed to do. You know, right. so So this should be dead for a while. I'd say so. Yeah. Yeah. You know, okay. even Maybe 61, there's some decent volume at 61 that you might be able to start biting at that particular point. Yeah. Where I'm going with the 61, that's the, the highs of the October, November of 2016. Right. And if we okay. come down there and it does have too much volume, then that's going to be a different animal, man. You know, so. Right. So we'll have to let it declare itself, I guess. Yeah, totally. So you'll just have to pick up that, uh, well, you could, your dividends were 2.2% right now. Yeah, that's not bad. No, no. Better than I can get anywhere else. There you go. Other totally. than Tiger Real Estate. There you go. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> can I ask you one more? Sure. Procter & Gamble. PG. Okay, yeah. so let, let's take a look at it. You got Procter & Gamble. Uh, that's trading $89. The low for the year is 80 The high is 92 That's interesting. That's a, that's a not a big spread for the year right now. Mm-mm. Okay, so... Put this in a weekly. This this just looks like it's still in a consolidation. I mean, let me put this back five years. Okay. I so. got in this when it gapped up uh, last fall, or I guess that was beginning of January. Okay. Um. You know, I mean, I like I like the volume that was there what in September, but that got tested already, and then you can see like okay, we had. $90.22, 846 million, tested with 199 million, you know, then backs down, coming back up there again, and it's still, it's not even close to the, even the last test. Right. So it's a, it's a consolidation. Okay. You know. um, Procter, this Procter & Gamble is really not telling me a lot, Marie. Meaning okay. most of the time what happens is that, you know, you get a volume bar that sticks out, yeah. It's like, this is just, just seems like it's, you know, it's trying to get to the highs and it's just consolidating. It's really, yeah, I wish I could tell That's you more. Okay. That's yeah. okay. Okay. You know, I, I think with Parker and Gamble, with the, the larger issue is going to be, they're probably trying to sit there, make a choice saying, should we do this deal with Amazon and repackage our goods? You know, and then... Yeah. You know, because they have to, I mean, they depend on every single supermarket selling their goods. I don't know if they want to depend on one company selling their goods, sure. you know. Well, 
say that's an ever-changing market regardless of what decision they make, though. Yeah. So we'll see. You know? But what I've often wondered with supermarkets, because we have a really great um, company that does our groceries here. It's um, Wegmans. I don't know if you've heard of I've them. I've heard of them, yes. Yeah, they're really terrific. And I've asked them this before. When you really like a product, I've often said, can I buy a case? And they said no. <laughs> and I say, why not? You know, I'm willing to come to the store and pick it up. Yes. You know? And um, I belong to a little food co-op that's uh, in town. Okay. And um, I, they they deal in mostly organics and odd sure. stuff. But you can buy cases of anything you want, you know. Right. And so it makes it really nice. So when there's a special on a product you really like. Oh, I know. You can buy a case, plus they give you a discount for volume. Right. And right. I feel like, why aren't the big stores? Getting, no, I, listen. You know, throw you a bone, you know? I'm, I'm with you. I have cases inside my garage. Yeah. The, the stuff that can't go bad, sure. except for the oh. dog food. The dog food can't go bad anyway, but it's sure. the same thing. Yeah. yeah. No, I, it, 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 it saves you a huge amount of money in the long run and time. Yes. Yeah. Because uh, if there's certain staples that you use all the time, so you have like a little storehouse and you have a bunch of it in there. Exactly. Exactly. And then uh, uh, you don't worry about uh, when there's problems with deliveries or storms or anything. Right. No, no, no doubt. Yeah. But, okay. Well, thank you so much. Okay. Have a great one. Have a safe one. You too. Bye. 877-927-6648. Let's go over to that NASDAQ. So and so the, the, the market in general just got a nice pop here. So the NASDAQ, let's see what we got. We just went from, well, the low at the open was uh, 57.34. You had 57.61, 57.63. Love to see this thing get right. The real question is going to be, can it, can it bounce up to 57.75? 57.75 would be a great sell in sure. day. Yeah, you know, about 15. 14 points from where we are right now. Right, right. You know, because what you'd be gunning for, folks, because you got a high volume low. So now you'd be looking at where it comes into the highs, if it, you know, if they've died in volume. Yeah. And then if we go over to the, when I do this, I like going over to the E-minis also and see if that is trading in harmony with it. Now look at this. That's actually, that's going into, what is that, 24.37. See, that did it. Yes. Yeah, so that means maybe uh, when we come back, I might go into the... NASDAQ? Yeah. No, maybe the S&Ps, because oh, okay. it, cause it did. It's already you there. see what I'm saying? But we'll see. You stay right there, folks. Tommy and I are coming right back. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Dow's up 10, NASDAQ's down 14, S&Ps are flat. We're going to be right back. Will the S&P 500 continue to climb? For bold trades on U.S. large cap stocks in either direction, trade SPXL, SPUU, or SPXS. Direction's daily S&P 500 bull and bear leveraged ETFs. Direction leveraged ETFs. An investor should carefully consider a fund's investment objective, risks, charges, and expenses before investing. A fund's prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a fund's prospectus and summary prospectus, call 866-476-7523 or visit directioninvestments.com. A fund's prospectus and summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The fund Funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Hi, I'm Steve Rhodes, host of the Trader's Edge, heard daily at TFNN.com and author of Mastering Probability, a daily investment and trading newsletter service that I send out each morning by 8 a.m. My morning newsletter service covers exactly what the markets have been doing since last night's close, providing you with an edge on your trading day ahead. You get actionable trading ideas, including the exact entry, stop, and profit targets. Plus, I'll teach you the patterns and hidden market correlations that will make you a better trader. As a subscriber, you'll gain access to my 90-minute money management workshop, where I'll teach you the secrets that'll save your assets. The bottom line, I've got your back, including a 30-day money-back guarantee. 
See for yourself the type of analysis I provide each trading day by signing up for Mastering Probability today. With nothing to lose, this is an offer you should not pass on. Mastering Probability can be found under trading newsletters on the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN has put together the finest live programming lineup each trading day, featuring some of the most knowledgeable and respected financial minds in the nation to educate traders and investors. On Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays, we broadcast nine hours a day starting at 8 a.m. as John Logan kicks us off each trading day with the Global Market Pulse. Tuesdays and Thursdays, we broadcast 11 hours. Get an early and healthy start to your day as Nico and Paige bring you Living a Primal Lifestyle. Then catch Andy Hecht at 5 p.m. with the Commodities Hour. Following the Tom O'Brien Show, Mondays and Fridays, catch live trading on the Nadex platform with host Tom and Tommy O'Brien, along with Daryl Martin on the Bull Bear Binary Option Hour. See the TFNN program lineup via the link on the front page of TFNN.com to get a complete overview of our TFNN shows and hosts. And keep TFNN's Tiger TV tuned in on your mobile device, PC, or Mac for the latest financial news and information throughout the broadcasting day. TFNN, educating investors. Catch Basil Chapman as he uses his Chapman Wave methodology to call the markets. The Tiger Technician's Hour, next on TFNN. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow right now uh, is up 9. NASDAQ is uh, down 16. And as you come over to our website at TFNN, folks, you are going to see right on the front page, I'm in Mr. Larry Pesamento. Wednesdays, right. Wednesdays just about here, right? Wednesday would be tomorrow, which yeah. is just about here for sure. So Larry Pesamento, an evening with Larry Pesamento, an autobiography of 55 years of trading experience tomorrow evening, 6 till 8 p.m. I will be here watching it myself. Um, and he's going to be talking for his Fibonacci 24-7 subscribers about kind of his history and what he went through for trading, his mentors, starting off in the 60s, um, going to the 70s with his mentors, talking about money management, going to the 80s with the Chicago Merck, being a floor trader. Amazing. Um, I'm sure he'll be taking lots of questions from there. And just it's 2017. About, it is crazy how time flies, man. We all know that, I think. Wow. Um, so I encourage everyone to go there. Check it out. Sign up. This, of course, will be archived for subscribers. So if you can't make it live or you just can't make it for the two hours, yeah. you can go in there and check it out. And that is tomorrow evening. So get in there. And, and it's only $97, folks. You get the right. uh, newsletter for a month. You get the webinar, all of the above. That's right. Uh, yeah, let's go. If we go over to the Nadex platform for a second. So we were looking at the... Um, uh, S and P. We were. And so I just jumped around first. Okay, you cool. tell me, but here are the daily S and P spreads we have right yeah. now. We're twenty four thirty six. Yeah. Quite a little rise we got right there. Of nice course, rise. As the yeah. market was jumping. Just open this chart up a little bit. And so twenty four thirty six. So which one, depending on what kind of action you'd want, because what? I'm looking right now and it seems like actually that the daily ones from where they were set are at a higher range because I'm assuming they were set back here, maybe. Um, yeah. Well, what I'd probably do, I, when this get a nice counter trend bounce like this, I like those two hour ones. Okay, sure, yeah. Um, because what happens, and what will happen, folks, right at 11, another one's gonna get set. But I think what's going on here, I think it looks to me like that, even that S&P wants to pop a little bit more. You know, because it, it kind of popped up nice. It's popped right into the downdraft of yeah. yesterday, but it's almost like, you know what, this wants to pull go up a little bit more. You think it might creep up here? I do. Yeah. And so, so what happens, and that's why I like checking both of them, sure. is that that's telling me that even the NQs want to at least pop to where the correspondent downdraft from yesterday is. Sure. You know? Yeah. So this is where the patience comes in and you got to put your hands in your pocket for a bit. Definitely. Because it's so, it's so tempting. Of course. Because when I just looked at even the NQs, what happens on these, when you have an hour, Left is there's a, there's another trade here inside the um, oh. I'll do this quick In, inside the Nasdaq the Nasdaq uh, uh, the ten to twelves uh, the one at the very top the uh, fifty five uh, fifty seven fifty to fifty seven sixty sure uh, if you pull that up at the break 
this was this was pretty cool. It was at yeah. So we're right at fifty seven sixty yeah. right now, and this goes fifty seven sixty down ten points to fifty seven fifty. Right. So if you're going to sell this, you're paying about thirty six, which yeah. is almost all premium. You're right. Now it's well, it's a point and uh, underneath, but yeah. yeah. Um, for the potential on the other side. Right, and when I had pulled that up earlier, it was 25 and 75. I bet, because which was, it, was, it was yeah, a lot higher. It was, which I love those ones, right, right. you know what I mean? Because yeah. the 25, that's, you know, you, you have some time. It's like, oh, for sure. And and that was trading at that point, it was trading at uh, 57.62 when, when it was that. And that would make sense, right? Yeah. A few points can make a big difference yes. when these are only 10 point NASDAQ spreads, because right. 10 points right. in the NASDAQ, as we all know, can be Fast and furious, so okay. a few points can really change the dynamic and of the bid, the offer, yeah. the premium that's yeah. priced in there. Totally. Totally. Stay right there, folks. I'm Mr. Basil Chapman's going to be coming up next to our growl and prowl with you. Dow Industrials right now up 7, NASDAQ's down 18, S&P's a flat, gold's up 220, uh, King Dollar down 636, notes up 15 ticks, bonds up a point. Thanks, pal. Thanks, man. Well, Go get them, folks. Since 1984, Basil Chapman has been using the Chapman Wave methodology to advise traders of his expert market opinion. While originally hand-drawing charts from the late 1970s into the 1980s, Basil noticed that prices under most circumstances virtually always had a certain number of legs to the upside before declining sharply. Later, Basil found that computer software, which included the standard market technical indicators, enhanced the degree of accuracy in calling price turns, as well as market trend calls. Thus was born the Chapman Wave Sequence. Using the Chapman Wave methodology along with other indicators, Basil Chapman advises his subscribers of his expert market opinion each market day with his opening call newsletter. Right now, you can get a two-week free trial to the opening call, Basil's daily trading newsletter, by visiting the front page of TFNN.com. Cancel at any time during that trial and pay absolutely nothing. Get your two-week free trial to Basil's newsletter, The Opening Call, today by visiting TFNN.com. This is TFNN.